back to the channel, y'all. I am at one of my other favorite spots. Uh, y'all know uh, Harbor Freights is it's not really a favorite spot of mine, but it's a go-to spot when I'm in need of something real quick and real ah, real quick, real quick. Uh, when I need some tools real quick and I have no choice or not much of an option. All right, but I'm at my other favorite spot. Now, this is a favorite spot of mine, okay? Uh, it's called, a place called Northern. Now, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the uh, uh, Atlanta, Georgia area. I don't know if this place is uh, worldwide or not. I don't know. I don't know the regions uh, Northerns, uh, Northerns are in. The, <laughs> the store Northern. I don't know the region it's in, but it's one right here down the street from me actually so i find myself frequent uh coming here a lot okay uh varies why i'm coming here but it's always uh something in here i need okay now let me go down this owl well that's not the owl this is the owl i tend to frequent a lot and uh you know, if you're like me, you don't know, really know what you need until you see it, okay? See, I have no clue if I need any of this stuff, but until I see it, like if I run across, if I see, like those test light. I don't know if I need a test light until I can't find mine, I don't know where I put it, and I view it here at the store and I realize, let me go ahead and get this, because it's fairly cheap. As you can see, that's $4, $4.99. Test light, only have a couple of, um... You only there's a couple of reasons you need a test light for it doesn't have to be a hundred dollar snap on test test light just not that serious so these are the little things now something like that you may want it to be high quality but for the most part man uh harbor freight is one of my go-to stores let me go down this other aisle over here because hand to hand to aisle all right, this is my spot. And the reason I'm here now is I'm finna have to do a fuel pump on my PT Cruiser. I don't know if y'all seen that video. I don't even know if I've uploaded it yet. From as of time and right now, I haven't. But I don't know if it would be uploaded by the time I talk about this. But I need like a little small cutting tool because I do not want to drop that tank. We can't just drag a car in the shop anymore. And, work on it like we used to and I have to get the car in the air to do that fuel pump properly okay in other words drop the tank that's the proper way to do it but I really want to it said it's at a spot right now to where I don't have access to a tow truck so if I can easily cut a little access hole in there and get the pump out I can go get a pump and actually do this job today all right but as it stands right now, I have no way to get to the fuel pump unless I dropped the tank. And today is Sunday. I have no way to get the car in the air because every spot that I have access to is closed today. My buddy's shop and even the dealership, they all closed today. So I have no access to those places. So what are my other options? Simply <laughs> cut a hole. Now, that is not the proper way to do that by no means. This is my car and it's an older car. I would never, ever, 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 ever do this to a customer car. Okay? So unless say I have their permission and uh, they're trying to save some money and I'm looking for a cheaper solution or option because you know in order to charge that job properly, you have to factor in the fact that you have to uh, remove the gas tank, the fuel tank. So that costs a lot more than just getting it from the back seat. So uh, that's where you charge accordingly, guys. You have to do not shortchange yourself by no means. But if you have an option or a way to give the customer or your customer a different inexpensive option, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? By all means, go for it. Just charge, do not shortchange yourself. Charge accordingly. 
Now, cutting wheels, and you see, even even now, I hate buying stuff like this that I have. I have these at the shop, at the job, in my toolbox. You know, I might just wait until I get to work tomorrow and get my tools, because I can use my electric drill and stick a cutting wheel on the uh, on my cutting tool and. Bzzz, there you have it, an access hole to my fuel pump. Man, I used to think these was expensive. These not that expensive at all. But maybe not this name. The Snap-on guys, uh, oil change lube guys got those. They range from $100 and up. These like $59. What I'm talking about is digital tire inflator gauge. Wow, $40 here, so. Like I said, this store is not quite Harbor Freight, okay? By no means, this is Harbor Freight. I think most of the tools in Harbor Freight are exclusively sold only in Harbor Freight, okay? Which means that tool name would be branded to Harbor Freight. So if Harbor Freight have a bad name going for them, then likely, uh, likely you will, uh, the tool going to have a bad name as far as quality. You, know, you can say don't buy cheap tools out of Harbor Freights all you want. You can say that all day, but um, if it's associated with the tool, then yes, it's going to be associated, or the quality associated with the tool is going to be associated with the store and the brand. At the battery, the battery area, the battery line. Now, I'm still debating whether I should get, I have three daughters. They all have their own car now. Uh, you know, a couple of them drive my cars, and but it's theirs. I'm still debating. I want to get them for Christmas a jump box. Guys, anybody in the in the room, help me out. Uh, what is the best one to buy for a teenage? She's not a teenage, but uh, I need a booster. I need a good quality booster. I don't know. So if anybody have one that works fairly well, let me know, man. I might, uh, I want to get them, uh, get the one, keep in the glove box. Uh, you know, as a dad, you always concerned about your kids, especially uh, their safety. Last thing you want to know is uh, they're stranded somewhere and their battery dead. They forgot, left the radio on, don't have any way to start the car. So you have to some cases get out of bed and go get them you're going to get out of bed and go get them because that's your child but wouldn't it be nice that where they can have a setup of their own you know you teach them how to use it and uh they simply use it and jump their own self off yes that would be lovely so i'm still debating on which one to get them i think that's what i'm end up getting them for christmas is a a portable jump box the small ones that you you know guys use uh give their some uh, i'm gonna get one for my wife also so everybody in my family will likely have a portable jump box me of course i have to keep a real full-blown jump box on me because of the work i do you know from time to time i have to jump off cars at the job and jump off cars uh unexpectedly out of the blue so guys i'm gonna wrap it up i'm cross my time limit as far as videos i hate real long videos but let me wrap this up like i say i'm here at harbor freights no i'm here at northern's northern's totally different from harbor freights uh different from the standpoint of uh i guess quality of tools i don't know northern some of the tools they offer lifetime warranty so but uh you can be the judge for yourself man visit their website or come to their local store and do it yourself. All right. So let me wrap it up. Get ready. Get out of here, man. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.